Welcome to the Top 10 Games of the Century, presented by Athletic Brewing, where we look back at some of the most exciting and important key wins in Harvard history. At number three, Harvard beats Yale 29-29. Every year, the Harvard football season culminates in the game, taking on rival Yale. Throughout the history of this series, there have been many consequential and exhilarating games, maybe none more so than when the teams met in November of 1968. Bayless moving up on the ball. Reaction on the Harvard sideline. Both teams came in undefeated at 8-0, setting up the first Harvard-Yale matchup of two undefeated teams since 1909. Overthrowing and intercepted. John the Crimson sideline. Whiteman finally knocking him out of Dowling still has it. Yale, led by future NFL quarterback Brian Dowling, jumped out to a big early lead, scoring the game's first 22 points. In the air, Hill has a touchdown. Dowling being pursued by Rick Frisbee, number 14. Throwing for the corner. Touchdown, Del Martin. Valentine. Back to Champy. He throws. It is complete to first spring and touchdown. After Harvard got on the board, the defense did its best to keep the Crimson in the game, forcing seven turnovers throughout the contest. Champy at quarterback. Champy to Crim. Touchdown. Hill is the deep man. The fake to Hill. The sprint to the right by Dowling. The look. And he's around the corner. It's a timeout on the field with a score Yale 29, Harvard 13. Yale's seventh and final turnover helped spark the Harvard rally as the Bulldogs fumbled at the Harvard 14 and launched the Crimson comeback. Eligible receiver downfield, I would think, is Levin. Fumble, and it is recovered, I believe, by Harvard. So again, he gets the time to throw, and his arm is hit, and he scrambles. Still down 29-13 with 3.30 to play. Quarterback Frank Champy led an 82-yard drive, capped by a touchdown pass to Bruce Freeman with 42 seconds to play. Looks for the corner, and it is to Bruce Freeman. Touchdown! After a Yale penalty on the first two-point conversion attempt, fullback Gus Krim drove into the end zone for two to bring the score to 29-21. He gives it to Krim. Krim has two. For Ten yards. It is anyone's ball. Next, the Crimson needed to recover the onside kick. Be chasing that ball, and they're going to try to dive on it. Kicker Ken Thomas squibbed one that bounced off a bulldog and was recovered by Harvard's Bill Kelly. Onside kick. Who's going to get it? Scramble. Loose ball. Harvard. Third and 10 from the 20, Harvard went to the ground with a draw play, surprising the Bulldog defense and getting the ball down to the six. To the six yard line, and timeout called by Harvard with 14 seconds on the clock. Chappy rolling right, looking, now sprinting, looking again. And he is going to be tackled on the eight yard After Champy was sacked, the Crimson called timeout with three seconds left, setting up one last chance to get into the end zone. Yale putting the pressure on, and Champy could not find his receivers as he looked to the right. It is now second down, goal on the eight, but the important thing is there is time for one play, three seconds remaining. This will be the final play of the game. He's got time. He wants to throw. He's still back. Time has run out. He throws. Touchdown! Champy on the final play of regulation found Victor Gatto and set up a chance to tie the game with a two-point conversion. The score is 29-27. The game was over, but not until the play was over. The clock had run out, and Champy scrambled and scrambled and scrambled, and finally Vic Gatto was free. With the game on the line, Champy got the ball to Peter Varney for two to level the score at 29-29. He's got it! He's got it to Varney! And it ends 29-29! What a finish! The dramatic comeback is still one of the best finishes in Harvard history and was immortalized by a headline in that Monday's Crimson that read, Harvard beats Yale 29-29. Join us next week for game number two on the list of Harvard Games of the Century.